Frappuccino with a sugar-free advantage. I am making a muffin recipe for you today that is so moist and delicious and creamy that I had to call it sex in a muffin cup. And I know that sounds funny. This is a real quickie of a recipe too. So first of all, I have a pound of cream cheese that I've put into this bowl and I've already beaten. Now I'm gonna add a few more delicious ingredients to it. I have two eggs, two beautiful creamy yellow eggs, a half a cup of Splenda that I'm gonna put into the bowl. I don't know if you've ever heard of xanthan gum, but it's a thickener and it's used a lot in uh, gluten-free baking. So I am going to add a quarter of a teaspoon of xanthan gum. Then I'm going to add a half a teaspoon of vanilla. And this is going to give the batter a really nice flavor. And believe it or not, that's all I have to do. I just need to break for a second and go beat these ingredients together until they're nice and creamy. Okay, so as you can see, I've beaten all the ingredients together and they're nice and creamy. So now I'm just going to add two more ingredients. I have about a half a cup of fresh blueberries and a quarter of a cup of sliced almonds. So all I need to do at this point is just mix it all together until it's all well blended. And you probably notice that this is very similar to a cheesecake recipe, but it is sugar-free and gluten-free, so you don't have any guilt when it comes to eating this. And if you have a muffin and a frittata or an omelet in the morning for breakfast, you are all set. So you know, I think I'm gonna add a few more blueberries because this just doesn't look like enough. So I will be right back. Okay, here I am, and I'm going to add another half a cup, I think, because I like a lot of blueberries in my recipe. So I'm adding them in, I'm mixing them up, and now it looks a lot better. And I'm just going to fill all of the muffin cups. So I'm going to put them right in, I would say, three quarters of the way full. And fill them up. I'm a little bit messy, so I'm sorry. This will make six to eight large muffins. I only have six muffin cups in my dish, so that's what I'm going to use today. Need a little bit of help with a spoon. Look at all those blueberries. Yum. I guarantee you're going to love this. And don't forget, it's called Sex in a Muffin Cup. So all your friends are gonna to wanna to try this one. All right, we have a little bit of batter left over, but we're not gonna worry about that right now. These are going to go into a 350 degree oven for about 20 minutes. So I will be back in, a, in 20 minutes and show you what the finished product looks like. Thank you. So I've taken them out of the oven and I've let the muffins cool for about 15 minutes or so. This is how they look. You can see all the blueberries and the creaminess of the muffins. So I'm gonna do a little taste test for you. And I don't usually take them totally out of the muffin cups because they are so creamy, but mmm. Mm, absolutely delicious. The cream cheese, the blueberries, the creaminess, the, oh, they're very, very sexy, to be honest with you. So anyway, um, I hope you like these. You can substitute the blueberries for any other kind of berry. I like to stick with the berries because they are very low in sugar um, compared to other fruits. So if you enjoyed this video, please click the like button and subscribe to the channel to see more recipes and tips about a healthy sugar-free lifestyle. Oh, and I forgot to tell you, please store these in the refrigerator because of all the cream cheese in them. To download the recipe, please just click the link, the link in the description below. I hope you enjoy this. Thank you so much and I hope to see you soon.